Amidst the Gothic spires and shadows of 15th century Paris, the magnificent Notre Dame Cathedral stands as a silent witness to the lives entwined within its stone embrace. Here, the story of Quasimodo unfolds, a tale of beauty, love, and the deep chasms of human prejudice. Quasimodo, the cathedral's bell ringer, is a figure of both awe and pity. With his twisted form and solitary existence, he is shunned by society but finds solace within the sacred walls of Notre Dame. Adopted by Claude Frollo, the austere and enigmatic archdeacon, Quasimodo's life is one of obedience and isolation, yet beneath his grotesque exterior beats a heart capable of great tenderness. Enter Esmeralda, a vibrant and enchanting Romani dancer whose presence electrifies the streets of Paris. With her captivating beauty and kind spirit, she captures the hearts of many, including Quasimodo, who watches her with a silent admiration. To the world, Esmeralda is an outsider, but to Quasimodo, she is a vision of grace and acceptance. Frollo, however, views Esmeralda through a darker lens. Consumed by forbidden desire, he grapples with the conflict between his religious vows and his obsession. His chilling words to Esmeralda, you shall be mine or you shall perish, underscore the depth of his inner turmoil. In a cruel twist of fate, Esmeralda is falsely accused of a crime she did not commit. Frollo's machinations lead to her arrest, and she faces a grim future. Amidst the chaos, Quasimodo's loyalty shines. In a daring rescue, he spirits Esmeralda away to the sanctuary of Notre Dame, declaring, Sanctuary, Sanctuary, with a voice that echoes through the cathedral's hallowed halls. Within Notre Dame, Esmeralda finds a temporary refuge, and a bond forms between her and Quasimodo. Despite their differences, they share a connection born of kindness and an understanding of what it means to be judged by the world. Yet, the forces of jealousy and vengeance cannot be stayed. Frollo's relentless pursuit leads to tragedy. In a climactic and heart-wrenching scene, Esmeralda is condemned, her life extinguished by the very society that could not see her worth. Quasimodo, heartbroken and enraged, confronts Frollo, his tormentor. There is everything I ever loved, Quasimodo cries as he watches Esmeralda's lifeless form. The story concludes with Quasimodo disappearing into the shadows, his fate a mystery. In death, Esmeralda and Quasimodo find the acceptance they were denied in life, as their bones are discovered years later, entwined in an eternal embrace. The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a powerful exploration of the human spirit, where love and tragedy intertwine, and the grandeur of Notre Dame stands as a testament to the enduring quest for compassion and understanding in a world often blinded by prejudice.